Well, as you can see, it's quiet now. We've already had our, our meal and our celebration cake. It's cart show time. Uh, like John says, huh? He says usually this front straightaway is full of carts. I don't know. I do know. I do know that it was 97 degrees today. Um, everybody's been freezing for weeks coming into this with cold, windy, damp weather. Now we're slammed with a heat wave. And I tell you what, we've run two heats today. A lot of practice. A lot of people are tired. And <laughs> just are done. They just don't have the energy to bring the carts out here. So, cart show is going to be a little lacking here, but you know, you don't have to have high numbers to have nice stuff. The KT100 Yamaha on this. Uh, has not filled out his registration sheet yet. Kind of hard to get an award if you don't have your registration sheet filled out. Do we have an original McCullough card here? And these these guys these guys come all the way from Arkansas, Bentonville, Arkansas. Come up here every year. The Mid State Cart Club in the middle of Illinois to show off what they brought and have a good time. And they just love coming here. Got a pair of MC7s on it. And here we have two MC91s on an all original, unrestored Rupp Chaparral. This belongs to Sean Moore here in Illinois. So I think he told me this was a 1968. Is I think he told me. We get some more carts up here. That's perfect. And this is the way this cart was since 1968. Unrestored. Nothing done to it. Look at the carts for the People's Choice Award. Make sure it's safe to run. Come up to the concession. Have a good Inside time. The blue bucket is the form for the people's choice. Please vote. Jim Camiller out of Peoria. His nice little Margay. Running a sportsman setup. Nice little West Bend on or West Bend. McCullough. Box muffler. Dry clutch. Another one of Sean Moore's carts here. This is an A runner. These are pretty unusual. You won't ever find a lot of these. Uh, frames a little bit different. Sean's one of those guys. He's in that middle age category, you know, in his in his forties, and uh, I would probably have a heck of a time driving this cart. And he wheels this thing like there's no tomorrow. Uh, take no quarter racing with him on this thing. He flies. He does everything except fall out of it. Here we have my son's cart. Little Evil. Mac 49 powered. He couldn't make it. I brought his cart for the cart show. Uh, he has three of these carts that look just alike. There's Evil One, which I, I, I ran today and I broke the crankshaft after one lap. Uh, this is Little Evil, because it's the smallest one. And then he has the dual engine one. Now what the heck's he call that? Uh, evil Twin. 
because they all look alike. They're actually triplets. Just engine power is different. He's a little different too. He runs everything from 10 horsepower to 45 horsepower. That's a quite a change. Buddy Rick Magnuson's cart with a Mac 49 on that. This is an alley cat. Rick's out of Woodstock. Now there's more than one Woodstock. This Woodstock happens to be Woodstock, Illinois. I don't think Rick was at the other Woodstock. And boy, oh boy, check this out. Couple Paul Booth, couple Bar Paul Booth carts. Right. Here's a Carretta. Carrettas are a little different. Pretty Carretta. So here's the scoop on, on Paul's Carretta and I'll take a nice shot of that. Now Paul is older than I am, but he only got to do this about a year earlier than me. See if you can squeeze it on something. What year did you start? 59. Is that by year? Yeah. I knew you did. And 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 this is Paul Booth, and he's a legend in Illinois. And he has done this forever. McCullough dealer. Um, and so far in vintage karting, we own the go-kart track in Germantown Hills outside of Peoria, and Paul Booth's the only guy I've met that ran a race there at one time. <laughs> What's <clears throat> How do you got this one signed up, Paul? Is it restored? That's for this one. Is it restored side by Yeah. Okay. Oh. Somebody should pull that out. So, so he brings in this 63 dart. That's for this one, right? Grand Prix. This is restored rear. Dual 101s on it. And Paul, Paul has a museum. Full of carding. And I have not been there. I need to be there. Nice man as you'll ever meet. He comes with his daughter Sandy. She's as fast as grease lightning. Um, I give her a hug every year and tell her thank you for. Making sure her dad gets here. Uh, this is the first year that Paul's not racing, and te Paul is 84. This is his first year not racing. Um, but I'm always glad that Sandy comes along with him and brings that support. And we think of father and son teams, but I tell you what, there's some incredible father and daughter teams out here running too. Ken Woolridge. Out of Illinois, uh, Ken's done this for years and years. Uh, runs immaculate equipment. Uh, very nice gentleman. So Ken's got two carts out here. <laughs> Keeps his stuff very clean. You know, in vintage carding is a lot of things to a lot of people, but you go around and it's not about necessarily about the trophy. It's, it's being here, making the event, having a good time, being with your friends. And believe me, you become friends with every single one of these people. There are not enemies in vintage carding. If you're going to be an enemy in vintage carding, you won't be in vintage carding very long. Aaron Kruger happened to have the only four cycle here this weekend. And Aaron's one of our young friends. Uh, we have a really good time with Aaron. He's out of Lincoln, Illinois. Um, and, you know, we're not blackballing Aaron and putting him on the opposite side of the track from everybody else. It doesn't have anything to do necessarily with the four cycle either. This is Aaron. It's probably this guy. Uh, no, but uh, 
for some reason he parked it on this side of the track, everybody else on the other side of the track. But, uh, he's one of my favorite young enthusiastic people. I, uh, I enjoy coming out, that's for sure. Um, I enjoy all the help I get. You're a wealth of knowledge. You know, I enjoy talking to you anytime yeah. I come out. Um, everybody helps everybody. Yeah, the guys are great. Um, you know, I get help from all over, from my sidewinders to my rear engine carts. Yep. And, Everybody's willing to help out. Nobody's ever pushed, mm -hmm. blown me off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these guys are great. These are yeah. great. Steve's yeah. a good guy. He doesn't get the camera on him enough. Maybe someday. 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 He'll be broken when that happens. <laughs> he looks, a little, he looks a little unrestored. He's an original. <laughs> I pick on him a little bit. Give me a chance. I'll pick on him, Bill. Thank you. John Moore is one of our favorite people. We have good times. It's the only unrestored one here, so. Yeah, but it's unrestored, it's nice. It's nice. Sometimes, you know, we ruin these by, by right away we grab the cart and we want to restore it. Sometimes you shouldn't restore it. And someday he probably will, but he'll have fun with it the way it is. Oh, sorry. Oh, here we go here. Sorry. Come on back here. Is this where it is? Yes. Rear restored. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, appreciate looks good. You. Look good running around out there. Thank you. Thank you. These so guys, much. this guy could just about get the long distance award too if we had one. <laughs> Comes up every year and just loves doing this. You know, I tell you, a lot of what I know is from your videos. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. I didn't know where you, know where you photo it. My buddy Rick Magnuson. That's why I'm worried Yeah, send that to me now. We got, I got five of them. No, I'm going to do this. Okay. I probably, probably shouldn't say this, but Rick's my best buddy in vintage karting. I have a lot of friends in vintage karting, and I don't want to offend anybody, but he's number one. <laughs> His keyboard skills are pretty good because of me because I email him every day. <laughs> That's true. Sure. Well, I was in communication. <laughs> There's Ken. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Got to get his sidekick with him. Get your sidekick over there. Go, buddy. I told you. <laughs> Bring the grandkids. Hold this? Oh no, that ain't gonna get a picture of him in it, Joey. Here we go. Smile, look at the camera, buddy. Smile. You're on candid camera. Smile. Please do it for me. I'll give you some candy, buddy. Here's another piece of cake. M&M's. Hey. Candy bar. Cool there. M&M's. Good time is that. Smile. Please. Why are you acting like Stinky that? pickles. You can't say it. Ah, well. Good. Right here. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can we clear the area? Sure. If you want a good picture. Oh! oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? He's Oh, thank you. Here, wait, one more. I like it. <laughs> Sorry. This is Jim's second year in finished car again. He loves it. After the comment I made earlier, huh? Yeah, behave yourself. Oh, that's the guy that didn't have a, a tag in his seat when I went by. <laughs> the past president of VKA, Bill McCormick. Bill's one of the major engine builders in vintage karting. Former national champion. Is Aaron still good or not? What, what were you in? Were you in the right one? Come on, we got it. Yeah, I mean, it's still in the 
Paul Booth. Paul Booth. That's fine. With this beautiful Carretta. Oh. Is that a talkie? It's a talkie. They've got those now, Paul. <laughs> yeah, and I got your comments from over there, so it's live. <laughs> Find the people's choice. This Paul Booth guy just keeps coming in here and stealing the show <laughs> on people's choice now. Look at the money he throws at it, though. Yeah, well, doesn't have anything to do with it. It's about the love of the Millions sport. Millions of dollars. <laughs> Nice job, Paul.